Long ago, back in the late 90s, I had acquired this old property with a big worn down barn on it through a short sale, and the house itself was in need of much work, a little dilapidated to say the least. Little did I know there was a good reason that this property had long been forgotten about. The property itself was not in terrible shape, but to my knowledge, there had not really been any people living on it for years. I guess that was kind of evident due to its condition. This place was actually on the outskirts of the town that I lived in, and since I had been coming out there regularly to make this place look nice, I was planning on fixing it up and probably trying to resell it for some profit. For the record, I am a 52 year old male and have never been involved with any sort of strange activity, until this anyway. Every time I was near the back side of this house where the barn was, I would get this bad feeling, like it was impending doom. I would hear things in the bushes and in the trees at night when I was on the porch, and I would just kind of stop when I got closer to investigate. I would sometimes hear what sounded like a really large dog sniffing the air. It was bizarre. I would never go outside in certain areas because I would feel like there's somebody there. Some sort of presence that would be watching every step that I was making. I knew there was more to it than that though, because there had been strange noises and activity around that area long before I ever acquired the piece of land with the dilapidated house and barn on it. I've heard multiple stories of people and neighbors in the area about weird things going on, but I really never paid attention to such hogwash. Of course, until I myself actually experienced it there. One evening, I was working late on the back porch, and it got really bad. You know that primal instinct of fear? How when it just washes over you, it grabs you, it takes hold of you. I had this horrible feeling creep up all around me. I don't have any other answer for it, but the closest I can tell you is that the thought of I'm being hunted right now by something kept popping up into my head. I felt like I was in danger and I needed to leave. I had stepped inside the house to grab some more tools and I think I just left the door open for maybe five minutes while I was in there. I don't know what it was, but I began to hear something big moving towards and closer to the house, like a really big animal or something. I did hear the distinct sound of something big running from the brush towards the house that I don't know where it came from exactly, but it was coming toward where I was, just walked by the back door. I didn't know what it was or what it was planning, but it didn't feel right. I remember stopping and turning towards the door, expecting whatever was going to barge right through the open doorway. I never had fear overtake me like that, ever. Not like it did in that moment. I almost felt like I had to do my best not to have a literal mental breakdown right then and there. It sounded like a damn moose charged out of the bush toward the porch, and then all noise ceased. Every single one. I sat there listening with my hands still on my tools, listening for anything. The crickets had even gone quiet. It was total silence. I heard a very faint raspy breathing, very heavy, not like a person, but something with a very heavy and large set of lungs. Whatever it was, it felt like it was waiting for me to step back out on the porch where I was drilling and nailing. I fled out the front door as quickly and quietly as I could, jumping in my truck and getting out of Dodge quickly. It was weeks before I even felt comfortable returning back to the property that I had just recently acquired. In the coming weeks after that incident, I had horrible nightmares of this wolf creature breaking in the house, grabbing me and pulling me away into the woods, never to be seen again. And then, my nightmare would end. It was the same one, reoccurring over and over every night. This creature in my nightmares resembled some hideous upright walking wolf creature. I guess you would call that a werewolf. The sheer amount of noise it made from running over the brush to the house. The weight that it had. I knew this was a large animal. It terrified me enough that I had a hard time returning. Anyway, when I finally did return, I did it in the morning hours that were filled with visibility and daylight. 
The outside of the house reeked like dog urine, really strong. It was in that moment I realized my nightmares were coming to life. I just remember thinking that this can't be possible. How is it I've been having these lucid nightmares of this werewolf type creature and now I'm smelling a strong dog urine all around the house? Like this creature came out of the woods and has now marked this house as its property, its territory. It freaked me out far too much to want to continue to work on this piece of land like I had been. So, I hired a small three-man crew to go out there and finish the work for me for the next couple of months. I would periodically check up on them, ask them if they felt anything weird while they were working, and they would just give me weird looks and tell me no. Clearly, they had no idea what I was talking about. This put me on edge even more. I felt like whatever I had encountered that night was targeting me as an individual. It wanted me, whatever it was. It wasn't interested in these younger guys I had hired, nor the house. It was waiting for me to come back to show itself, or so I believe. It isn't going to give it the benefit of the satisfaction of terrorizing me. I think I came to terms with my nightmares being a reality, that this thing was real and was terrorizing me in my dreams. I ended up selling the place shortly after I got them to finish up on the house and cut things short, in turn taking a much smaller profit. But I didn't want to deal with it anymore, if we're entirely honest. Afterward, I never had any of these nightmares again, never felt any of the strange and terrifying sensations I did when I first stepped foot on that place. That was nearly 20 years ago and I want to keep those memories as far in the past as I can keep them. Thanks for listening. Before I go into detail, let me explain a little bit about the area so you can fully understand how this happened. My grandfather's corn stalks lined right up against the road that ran parallel with his corn. On the other side of that road, there is a road that meets and intersects perpendicular that ran right into the parallel road. On one side of this perpendicular road was corn stalks that were owned by another family, and then on the other side of that road was heavier woods. Here, just think of an upside down capital T. The flat part of the T was my grandfather's corn stalks. On one side was the last woods, and on the other was the corn. I'm just trying to give you a visual that makes the most sense. Now, when I was really little, my grandfather owned acres and acres of a cornfield that I would play in all the time. One afternoon, I was stopping to look at a big bug that I had never seen before while my grandfather was pulling a trailer with all of his corn stalks and grain in it. I noticed some movement coming from across the road, and I turned to see what it was. My grandfather saw it too, since he was right there, and motioned to me that he thought it was going to be a big buck and what emerged from the woods across the road. He pointed to where the movement was, and that's when we saw this large hyena-looking creature that was walking around on its hind legs, emerging out of the woodline. When I saw it, it turned its head and met my eyes. Then, it leapt and jumped and landed into the corn stalks on the opposite side of the road. In one jump, it cleared the road. As it had leapt into the cornfield on the other side, I panicked. I jumped up onto the trailer and I waved my arms trying to get my granddad's attention, who looked and saw it too. Then, the creature emerged from the corn again. It stopped, looked back at me, then it turned to the side and walked off on its hind legs, going back into the woods where it just came from, instead of leaping like it did before. It looked like it was holding a small animal in its arms. Perhaps it had chased a cat or something into the corn and was retrieving it, when we had just happened to be right across the road from it. This thing didn't take long to cross from one area of the corn to the woods. I knew it was out there in the open, exposing itself. It was smart. It acted intelligently. I had never seen a creature like that before in my life. Gosh, it was so giant. I've never seen an animal so large before, other than large bear and moose especially one that was walking on its hind legs, just like a person does. It didn't act awkward or uncomfortable walking on its hind legs. It was like it was fluid and natural. 
I can't overstate to you how massive this creature was. When I saw it for the first time coming out of the woods into the corn, I saw that it was well over eight feet tall and had a long muzzle covered in black. My grandfather is 6'4", and this thing towered over him. I could just tell from being how far away it was from it. I felt traumatized. I know that even if it took me a couple of years to get over this experience, I would really never truly be the same again. I was terrified. I haven't gotten over this since the day and haven't fully processed it even all these years later. My grandfather who saw it wouldn't talk to me about it and he just sits in complete denial that these things exist. I don't need to see one to believe them anymore. I know they exist now.